Hello, and welcome back to the Forever Winter. It's Mac, and uh, I'm going to do a lot more practice runs on Elephant Mausoleum this time around. Uh, actually, I happen to have somebody join up on me, this Ganon Cannon. Uh, I think he'll just run the, run the map, uh, and he can just tag along, and we'll see how things go. There's not going to be any voice comms or anything. So yeah, we'll just see how it goes. I feel bad about just kicking people. Um, I don't know. But uh, I'm gonna get myself equipped. Uh, by the way, I'm going to run things from the sewers entry point. I find this an interesting entry point. Um, and I wanna learn some routes out of this uh, starting area. So yeah. Let's get myself equipped. Uh, I kind of want to go in uh, fully loaded. So I'm not caught with my pants down. I had a very interesting run last night. It turned out to be very exciting. I had the hunter killers come after me for the very first time. Believe it or not, after close to 30 hours of playing this game, this was the first time I triggered Hunter Killers during a run. Uh, so that was a great experience. <laughs> cool, a quote unquote great experience. Um, it was definitely scary, but uh, I had the S12 on me and that was doing a lot of good work. I think if I had the AA12, uh, I probably would have survived that run. I ended up dying near the extraction. That kind of sucks. Uh, for my backup weapon, I'm kind of debating. I think we'll stick with the SVD. It's not the best gun, but I like that it's semi-automatic. It's got that going for it. So... Ammo, ammo, ammo. I always get uh, hung up here on the ammo. Uh, um, 54R, right? Why can't I see it? Oh, oh my goodness. Two stacks. Mm, maybe one more stack just to be safe. Rigs. Uh, actually, I'm going to add an attachment to my rig so I can hold a bit more. So I'm going to head over to the vendor real quick here. Bundleton, hello. Large item bin. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna put in the, uh, because I, I can lose these. They're fairly pricey. I know I stand to lose my nice guns as well, but apparently the tombstone system is actually working out. Back in the first week, it was bugged out for me. I could never actually retrieve anything from my tombstone. It's been fixed now. I just haven't noticed, <laughs> so I've been making things harder on myself. Uh, so, oh, he left. Okay, yeah, I was taking too long to get started. So, don't blame uh, Ganon Cannon at all for leaving the uh, squad. So yeah, no extra attachments on my rig. I'm just gonna go in as is. I think. I think we're good here. Maybe just one more little boost for safety and hopefully I can make my way out um, yeah first time I went uh, through this map from the sewers I made it out but I didn't really get much loot it was a very straightforward path but uh, lack of reward but I think I can combine a loot route and still get to extraction in a relatively safe manner. We'll see how it goes. Early today, as of this morning, I think, they, Fun Dog posted uh, their latest Q&A session. Um, it was a big one. It was about half an hour long, and they had 
I, I feel like close to 20 questions answered. I plan to do a recap of that, but I just haven't had time to really fully digest the content. So hopefully I can get that out in the next day. And if not, then, then so be it. No big loss. You're just better off watching the entire thing and getting the maximum info dump that way. How's that sound? Good. Okay, so uh, if I go up this way, is actually um, a little safer. Like this way is, there's a lot of battle happening and I had to kill a bunch of guys I had to kill a bunch of standard infantry last time to actually clear a path for myself. But once I got out, it was a pretty straight shot to the extraction. I just want to test that out again. Just to verify my uh, memory. <laughs> my memory. See, the extraction is just this way. I didn't actually go this way, but... Oh yeah, they don't let you cut through. Or do they? Now they do. Okay, so actually... Oh, you know what I forgot to bring? I wanted to bring the tact ca tactical camera. But I'll bring it on my next run. Uh, they don't let me completely clamber up that way. And I should be pretty clear of any resistance if I just keep going up. That giant shadow passing overhead is a little scary. I'm gonna lie, I panicked for a second. I hear footsteps. But we're oh, so close. I hear cyborgs. I hear radio chatter, I hear cyborgs. Yeah, the sentries guard this extraction. I hope the best But uh, you can sneak around them, this. or in this case, they may get distracted. Or if that's too tough, you could probably kill them. So, okay, this was a nice uh, sanity check of the route. The straightest route to extraction from sewers. Didn't get a thing. Just wanted to verify the path. Now, I'm going to go back in to the sewers. And I'm going to go the other way from the spawn. So I just go close, it'll stay in my um, loadout for the next mission. Yes. Yes, yes, okay. Good, good, good. I've been all, I've been instinctively just saying uh, move to stash every time I complete a mission, but if I didn't actually pick anything up, then I actually have to put everything back in before I head out again. Uh, tactical camera. I think I will invest in the tac cam for this outing. And who is it that sells it? Was it Bundleton? I think it's Bundleton. Is it? Or is it, is it Bundleton? I thought it was Bundleton. <laughs> Am I dreaming? Heismer? No. Whew. 
who who the dickens sold the uh, tactical camera? Ain't Charles. It's not Bunko, that's for sure. It's got to be. It's got to be Bundleton. I just got. I'm just not looking in the right place. All. Who the frick? Mm. Oh, this is scaring me. <laughs> Who sold it? Um, I'm having a serious brain fart, and I don't like having brain farts in the middle of a recording. Hmm. Is it part? It's... Uh... loss let me just let me just go over my quests and then maybe it'll come back to me. extract from elephant mausoleum I want to get this one I should have got this one last time okay let's uh, let's ditch this one for now extract from elephant mausoleum Elephant Mausoleum, one of our most strategic locations. It's been under attack for months, but we need to know the current situation on the ground. Get inside the mausoleum, gather as much intel as you can, and report back here. I think I can handle that. I'm gonna destroy some Eurasian armed forces. I can probably do that. And then this one. Retrieve target systems from Elephant Mausoleum. Okay, we'll, we'll hang on to this one as well. Okay. Do I remember who sells the gosh darned tactical camera? Okay, I think I've exhausted Bundleton's. So, Armaki. Parts. Is it just like a limited time uh, item? That is really bothering me. I'm gonna actually quickly um, check my phone here and look it up. Tactical camera vendor. <laughs> uh. Sometimes I wish not everything was a video these days. Okay, I'm just gonna, I can't find it. And I don't wanna just stall the uh, the recording here, looking for that thing, so um, it's bizarre, it's bizarre. But we'll, we don't need the tactile camera. I'm a pro, I'm a pro at this map. Um, I 
Okay, I think I'm ready to head in. Again, I'm not going to add any uh, compartments to my rig. Going as is. I'll do a modest loot run before heading to the exit. Oh, why is it so damn dark? A new opportunity awaits. Wow. Uh, okay, I'm not familiar with this version of El Mausoleum. It is extra dark. Oh my goodness. Uh, I don't have a flashlight either. Oh my goodness. It's it's freaking. It's freaking um, cyborgs everywhere. Okay, I'm just gonna go to extract. Just my luck, man. Just my luck, man. Thanks for the uh, crappy uh, iron sights on the SVD. Yeah, I've always done this map um, when it's got the beautiful plumes of smoke in the air. We got a. I have a customer straight at the gate. I don't have silencers. At least I don't think so. I put a muzzle attachment on my. Whatchamacallit? My uh, AA12. But I don't think it's a suppressor. Crouching is indeed very powerful. If I die, fuck. Oh, already out of bounds. I think I jumped up here last time, yeah. If I die, I really have to remember where my tombstone is. Man. These nighttime versions of the maps are just awful. Just awful. Tools or any stationary enemies in my path, and I'm golden. And this run is just going to be all about extracting and completing that quest. Oh, is that the dog? Bring us of death. Dog has made me change my route. Apparently, the dog cannot be killed, so I'm going to 
Oh, yeah, that's a way better route. Just climb on top of the rubble. Okay, whoa. Tier yeah. one units on the way. You didn't they see me? don't look happy. Are there any sentries? There's somebody there. Oh shoot, I didn't mean to fall. Obliteration in walking form. Get the fuck out of here. How'd I make it out, man? How did I survive that? I thought I was I thought I was done. When that dog came out to me, I thought that was it. Oh. Fortunately, it was the uh, crawlers, I guess, that were uh, stationed outside the uh, extraction. And they were kind of slow. I could, I could actually jump over one of them without bouncing off like uh, Super Mario. <laughs> All right, uh, close. Okay, let's uh, cash on that quest. What I've been doing is I've been, uh, it's just a tiny bit of experience in the grand scheme of things. I've just been passively loving up Bagman. With the quest XP. So it's just 500. Turn it in. You managed to get up Elephant Mausoleum alive. And what a mess it is in there. Yuri has been making some aggressive moves. We need to be prepared to defend their territory at all costs. Okay, I'm gonna go back in. And if it's nighttime again, I'm gonna just quit out. <laughs> and then re restart and then pick up my tombstone crap. I'm gonna keep doing it until I get it, get the version I want. But uh, what what to pick it next? Oh, civilians escape. I would help if I knew where they were. Destroy your open armed forces. I'll, I'll, I'll do this one. We wish to study the average scavenger's combat effectiveness. As such, we have an exercise for someone like you. Take on as many Europeans, Europeans as you can handle, destroy at least 15 of them. We will watch on with great interest. Good hunting. I swear, whenever I see Euro European, and I'm reading it out. I always want to pronounce it Europan. <laughs> I don't. I don't know why. It's just me and my bad pronunciation of of words. Words. Words are hard, people. Oh, I don't want to be bag man. Good thing I caught that. But the equipment stays the same. Like I said, hopefully we get the daytime version. Oh, good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head right this time. I'm going to loot my fill and then I'm going to head back here and go up this way to the extraction. That's terrible.
hear some squishies going on outside. So I guess we'll start from the top level here and make our way down. I'm trying to I'm gonna try to avoid opening doors. Oh I think the dog is there. Let's not go over there. So we do have a door here. But I'm not gonna open it. I'm just gonna loot. There is the loot. Okay, I'm gonna head back up now. Actually, I can go this way. There's unfortunately more doors. Do we have any looting opportunities? I feel like there should be stuff in here to loot, but they just didn't uh, give it to me this time. to avoid going down to where there was the dog. So I'm just gonna take a long way around. We lazy, I just jump this rail. I hear some galloping. Oh shit, the dog's right there. Why did they give me the dog? There was no dog last time. Hmm. I just need to open doors all over the place. Hardly picked anything up on this run. I just know I attracted unwanted attention. Okay. Right. The coast might be clear. This is not a good door to open because I'd actually been here already. <laughs> okay, the dog is on the other side of this door. Okay, the dog has really changed things up. It has really changed things up. Presence of the dog. He's right there. Can it be safe going here?
Yep. That drew some attention. We found the clear out. Now, here's why I wish I had the tactical camera. Stompy Stompy is still kind of close by. Is the doggo going to be down here? No, it's a different level. Oh no, yeah, he's, he could be just up ahead this way. So have to be careful. That's his route. Oh, there is something to loot over here. More medical supplies. The last time I tried to just extract by following this direction and, and basically going for the other extraction point and I got lost and I ended up aggroing so many enemies. It's not a good scene at all. So what I want to do is I just want to duck into the next little hallway. Actually, is that going to be... Yeah, I got duck in this one room. I'm gonna loot, and I'm gonna go. Famous last words. In good times and bad, the city shows its true face. Out this way. This still ends up going back to the same place, I believe. At least I got a got a lockbox. It's a pretty conservative run though. We're back at the uh yeah, we're back here. The dog sounds very close by, I don't know why the footsteps are so loud. Oh, this body's in my way. I stay crouch walking for a bit longer. This is definitely one of the more uh, detailed and expressive regions in the game right now. It's truly beautiful once you get outside. Beautiful and the, the shattered, desolate, sort of beautiful, you know? We are back at the starting point, and I'm going to try for the quote-unquote easy extract. That lovely smoke. So we, we heard some squishies outside, so let's... Soldiers wandering about outside. Lump pass. I think those are just the standard infantry from uh, Europa. Yeah, having a tactical camera would be. So very useful. 
can maybe move a lot more swiftly. through this way. Follow the pipe. but nothing's nearby. I think, can I just take this pipe all the way? No. Yeah, eventually I get blocked. Makes sense. It's a little small. Look at this beautiful. Look at this beautiful scene. Gorgeous. Right, let's uh, drop down. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Thank God. I thought I was going to get trapped between the pipes. I thought I saw a cyborg running about. some units posted outside. Make my move. Fucker. Yeah, home free. Soldier. I won't push our luck. Remember, we're already dead. So, decent amount of experience, no kills, lots of health items. Alright, alright. I'm gonna do that run again, but bef before I do that, I feel like doing the run I did last, last video. The one that starts uh, from the ruins. I'm gonna double check how much water I have and the supply. 52, okay. And I'll also, trying to decide right now if I want to upgrade start doing uh, some loot runs with Bagman and using the the rack which is this guy here nice big is it the biggest uh, brig you can get but it's a nice big one nice and spacious that's gonna cost uh, 52 should I spring for that 
and enable uh, more profitable runs? Or should I look into upgrading my innards? So I have a choice of being able to uh, expand my uh, water storage capacity by 10, 10 days, which actually I'm not too thrilled about. It's gonna cost 500K. But the other one is to actually uh, enable crafting. I need 20 days of water, uh, half million. Hire technicians from above to set up in your innards and provide machinery that enables ammunition crafting. So it's just ammunition to start. And I guess the next tier would be weapon parts. As I read it, I don't feel super excited about this. Wouldn't I eventually be able to craft weapons though? I saw, um, I think a video recently about, uh, from a content creator, obviously. He um, said he was gonna, he's building his first sniper rifle. So, seems like some of these um, high-end weapons are only available if you craft them. Which, I guess, would make sense. If they want to incentivize you to actually make this upgrade. But yeah, I'm, I'm kind of not decided right now. I wouldn't mind uh, some pointers, some opinions. If you, uh, if you so please, if you would be so kind, leave a comment and uh, let me know your thoughts. Okay, so like I said just now, I'm going to try running the ruins. I'm at least more likely to get into some spiciness if I do this run. I'm not going to go out of my way to get in a fight, but... I think I'm more likely to get into a, an avoidable conflict. We'll see. I still don't know where I get the tactical camera. It's really starting to bother me. <laughs> attachments are attachments. That's nothing to do with attachments. It's a specialty item. There's a tactical camera that you could like plant a bomb, right? I keep going back to Bundleton because he's sort of like the, um, s you know, he's the pack rat, but he, I, I could have swore he had some specialty items in stock. But when I go look for it here, he's got nothing. He's just got the rigs and the containers. Oh, by the way, none of them two successful runs. Does that mean I uh, I had a two uh, destroyed weapons in my inventory, in my stash? I mean, does that mean I have those in my possession now? No, it does not. It does not. I had a destroyed. Um, a destroyed scar, and I destroyed M4. So, if they're destroyed, they're just not salvageable at all. But if there there's another uh, type of disabled weapon, right? Maybe it's salvageable. I think that's the keyword. If if you have a salvageable weapon in your in your possession, when you uh, extract from a run, I think it has to be two runs. Then it becomes a usable weapon, right? Please let me know in the comments. <laughs> uh, oh boy, yeah. We've done a couple uh, extractions already, so. Nothing came of it, so I'm just gonna sell these puppies. Sold. All right, let's get geared up. 
Weapons good. I haven't tried using a pistol. He's a pistol. I'll be Mr. Close Range. <laughs> regrets. I think I'll have some regrets. Most likely. But the what ammo does the pistol use? 45 ACP. I may not have 45 ACP. Pistol. I lie. I've got plenty of 45 ACP. Well, I'm such a liar. Yeah, I think we're armed. Well armed enough. And just make sure ruins. Yeah. Let's give this a go. And uh, we got the daytime no variant. Tonight. Actually, I'm, I'm pretty uh, excited to cover the fun dog Q and A session from uh, from today slash yesterday. Uh, now that I start thinking about it. Oh shoot! We got drones headed this way. Let's double time it a bit. Okay, they're being shot. Who's who's hanging out the bunker today? Oh my god! I should have started firing. Oh yeah, now I get an excuse to come back and get my uh, get my tombstone. Freaking hell, man! I was just like, I literally bumped in the first couple guys. I excuse me, pardon me. Uh, <laughs> the best, best scenario is for me to actually enter the bunker first, then everyone's funneled into that little passageway and I can start blasting, right? Um, that's the best, best scenario, but my god, uh, now I have to go in with different equipment. I can retrieve my stuff by the going with different equipment. Um... Hey, let's break out the S12. Break out the S12 and um, USP. Or should I just try using this uh, PM9? M16. M16 it is. Do I even want to bother customizing this guy? Can I even customize it? That's a, that's a negatory. M16 uses 556. Yeah, Your bones for breakage. 
stones for breakage. Okay, let's uh, make haste to my tombstone. soldiers in here at this time. Oh, advanced medical kit, nice. Peace through discovery. Everything, I cannot get any water. Put everything and now let's just go. Did I go the wrong way? Shit. Mother Tucker. How do I get back? Um How do I get back up? On the high ground. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So here's the ramp. Yeah. What am I smoking? Here's the bridge. I was like, look at that bridge. There it is. Right. Why does this feel different? Why do I feel, why do I feel like I'm lost? Why does it seem so unfamiliar? I do not remember going across this wide bridge. Why does the layout feel different? I ask you. Yeah, seriously. Why does it feel so foreign right now? Okay, so oh, I know where I am now. I ended up way off course than what I usually do. Way, way, way off course.
basically want to get myself so that I'm uh, in the in the building on the other side. But I'll wait till this entourage turns all the way around. And then I'll sprint across. But they the entire group has to pass me by first. There's a lot of uh, firepower out there. I'm not gonna take them on, obviously. Start inching forward. Oh, there's another group coming in. Sons of bitches. Okay, turn around. Turn around. Stop me from getting out. Okay. I don't think I moved far enough in, and I'm trapped now. sees me. I do appreciate that uh, loot counts for more XP, it seems, as opposed to killing enemies. Unless you, I guess, I assume if you kill some really high value targets, then that's going to be a uh, big XP. I have yet to take down anything of reasonable size in the game. Things like the uh, Exos. Larger mechs. I think the larger mechs may even be invincible. I know the mother courages are invincible. But, um, yeah, let's move the stash. And let's quickly verify that, yeah, I got my A12 back. Okay, so I must have been asleep through one of the hot fixes that they rolled out uh, in the last couple weeks. But uh, the bugged retrieval of uh, your tombstone and your items is now working. <laughs> Confirmed it for myself. Uh, thank you, Arcturus, for uh, commenting in my previous video as well to uh, mention that the tombstone retrieval uh, 
was a thing and, and working and uh, that puts my mind at ease. It's still a risk if uh, you wipe and you go back and you wipe again, but apparently the tombstones also stack. So what I assume is that as long as you're still within the same play session, like you, di you die on a, on a mission as long as you stay in the game, you don't quit out and come back in. As long as you stay in the game, and you go back in and you grab your tombstone, you'll get all your stuff back, which is fantastic. It takes the sting off of wiping just a little bit, I would say. Cool. So, gotta get that equipped again. And in terms of... Uh, secondary yeah I think uh, that's cool that's cool stuff now what I want to do next should I just do one more run no you know what I think I'll call it and on the next video I may do uh, some more elephant mausoleum runs uh, and I may actually go back and just grab your nexus and try to actually go deeper into this darn map <laughs> And uh, if I get into some scraps, if I get into some scraps in the scrapyard, um, so be it. And then I should actually try and uh, fulfill some of these scrapyard related quests. You know, I should even try to fulfill some of these mausoleum quests, now that I think of it. So yeah, the plan for next time is probably going to be a combination of going to Elephant Mauso Mausoleum, checking uh, checking out the pipes entry point again. Uh, do we have somebody join up my squad? No. Checking out the pipes entry point, maybe learning the, the lay of the land from there. Uh, I haven't played from the pipe since like day one when I just kind of bumbled in as a total newbie. And then, uh, as well, uh, I will do uh, Scrub Your Nexus. I should do more in there than my usual milk run. I will actually try and go in there and try and find the totem, get that quest, and try and do that. And uh, yeah, just making slow but steady progress, I would say. And uh, yeah, having a lot of fun still. Having a lot of fun. The game has been out now for two weeks, pretty much. Just under two weeks. They put out three hot fixes. They got uh, more exciting updates on the way. I hope to uh, at least recap their latest uh, Q and A session. Uh, hope to get that out in the next day or so. If it's gonna be uh, longer than another day, then I'm just gonna uh, drop drop that idea. But if I can get it out tomorrow or something, that'll be that'll be good. Hope you can join me then. Uh, until the next video, uh, I'll see you all later. Uh, please do like and subscribe if this has pleased you at all. And I always love reading your comments, so do leave a comment down below. And I will reply to as many uh, of your messages as I can. Alright, I'll see you all in the next video. You take care. Bye for now.